yeah, I think yeah, I think I think all the guys should be really proud uh, about what they've achieved, not not just to the games, but um, but in the last six or seven years, you know, water polo is really nowhere six or seven years ago, um, and for us to close the gap to some of the big nations um, as much as we have in such a relative uh, short period of time, with some under some really difficult circumstances as well, um, you know, I think all the guys should be proud of what they've achieved. Yeah, I think, I think the key thing for us at the moment is you know, we've got such a young squad. Uh, just myself, there's over 30 in the you know, The guys have got an average age of just 24 in the team, so uh, much, much younger, five, six young, years younger than most of the other teams. So I think uh, I think you know there's, we've improved a lot, we've closed the gap a lot, but there's room for further improvement over the next few years as well. Um, you know, it's been the crowd were always fantastic, always kept us in it. At times, you know, against Serbia, against USA. For two periods of games, you know, we were we were really really competitive with the best teams in the world. Uh, we've not quite been able to string four quarters the whole game together, but I think that comes with experience. You know, you, you have to have exposure at this level to in order to, to bridge that gap properly. And we, we haven't really had that many games yet as a squad with such a young squad. So over the next few years, as they get more experience, they'll be able to put more and more uh, more and more time together playing at that level. They'll be able to get even closer to the, the really big teams in the world. Yeah, I'm going to have to stay retired now. Uh, I don't think I'll ever score another goal like that against, uh, you know, not only a world-class team like Montenegro, but one of the best goalkeepers in the world as well. So, uh, if that's if, you know, if that's the last goal I'll ever score as a GB international after 19 years of playing for the team, then uh, at least it's one to remember, as you said. Oh, definitely, definitely. You know, I think not only, like I said, about the, the exposure to world-class teams. I think world-class players. You know, we've, we've in, in 10 days we racked up five matches. I think we had you know, five or six matches in the last 12, 18 months. So we've doubled our amount of matches at this level within within the space of one game. So not only for that experience, but also just you know, the passion and the pride and the, the hunger they've shown to just continue to work hard uh, through every game, whether it was going well or whether things weren't going so well. So I think I think they'll grow as a team, um, and I think uh, it's you know whetted their appetite for future success really. Yeah, I think yeah, the vast majority of the team, uh, you know, almost all of them are continuing um, to play for their club teams abroad. Uh, I think I think that's the best thing they can do under the circumstances. I think obviously, um, you know, playing for professional leagues gives them in professional leagues gives them uh, a good good base base to play from. Uh, obviously, then you have the the problem is then with the European structure as it is with home and away qualifications. We only get you know a day usually together before a qualifying match. Which means the qualification in itself is a bit of a hit and miss process because you're not spending any time training together or working towards that game. So, but hopefully they can they can perform really well in, in those qualification matches. Uh, hopefully qualify for the Europeans. Um, and you know, but they, they've got some tough teams in the qualification group. Again, there's so much strength in depth. You know, European water polo. You know, the top probably 20 sides in European water polo could could give you know the likes of Australia and US a really tough match, and they're you know they're guaranteed to be in the Olympics every year. So just getting into a European Championship is extremely difficult in, in mental as well. So uh, it's tough, it'll be tough for them, but I, yeah, I think they can do it if they, if they keep working as hard as they have done.